Hi little skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here and welcome back to the Chatting Skeletons podcast. So today's podcast, much like the last one, is me just talking about editing videos for my channel. Now full disclosure, uh, this video is not sponsored by the editing software I am talking about. The only reason I am talking about it is just because at the time when I actually got the software, I was stupid excited to actually have a working software to edit on that wouldn't crash at least all the time because it sometimes actually does crash and it honestly I know it's my laptop my laptop is not the best laptop but I mean I'm not willing to pay thousands of dollars for a PC system that I'm only going to use to really film and edit on so anyways so the editing toy as I have so proclaimed in this uh, episode that I use is called Filmora 9 and initially again like I said in a past uh, chatting skeletons episode I was initially using a uh, software called Movie Maker, which was just free to download on any PC, laptop, whatever. I know the one for um, Apple is iMovie. I have that on my phone. Anyway, so I had Movie Maker for a while and it worked for a little bit. It worked um, up until when I had like only like 15 minute videos to actually edit and then it would just completely break down on me after like two minutes and then if it actually went through, I'd try to upload it and it just again would crash. I was like, okay, I need a new editing software. So I went online and of course I was looking at Adobe this and Adobe that and I'm like my laptop cannot support Adobe no matter what. So then I finally found this thing called Filmora 9 and I was like okay and it was free to download. However if you wanted to use most of the stuff on there you have to pay a yearly subscription which the one I'm paying for is just 40 bucks a year. It's honestly not that expensive I can come up with 40 bucks in one paycheck. Um, but. It's great because when I first started using it, I used the free version and in the free version they have this huge watermark that they leave on there which you guys saw in one of my versus videos and I was like, okay, we can't do this. So that's when I bought the the um, subscription and I can now use the music like you're hearing in this one. Um, I can use the openers like you see in most of my videos. I learned well, all of my videos, I should say. And it's honestly such a really great system. On occasions it will crash like a uh, at one point when I was editing a Mad Libs video for Cute Baby Boo, I had so many edits in it that it actually completely crashed the system and I tried doing it twice. And after two times of it just crashing on me, I was like, forget it, it's gonna be unedited. And I told Harley Baby, I'm like, from now on, these Mad Lib videos are gonna be unedited. And by unedited, I mean like, I obviously still add the title, um, I crop out the first like few seconds of the beginning because we're not talking and then I crop out the last few seconds um, After we say our goodbyes and I put the music in but my version of unedited is anything beyond that. It's unedited <laughs> So I told her I'm like I the Mad Lib video videos from now on are gonna be unedited <laughs> which she didn't mind and I remember that day I had told her I'm like look there's two segments in this video that I know like one of them you asked me to cut out the other one I just wanted to cut out because of you being on the phone with her husband but because of just the issues I've had, can I please leave them in? And she goes, yeah, it's not a problem, so I just left them in. So I wonder how that video is going to blow over once it uploads. I don't know if by the time you guys are seeing this video that that video has officially uploaded, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, I love Filmora 9. It's honestly been my best editing tool that I've ever used, and I don't think I've ever, I'm ever going to stop using it, even if I get a new laptop, be it PC or Apple, because I know Apple actually has a Filmora 9 app, which I have on my phone, but I'm hoping to try and see if I can like log into my account because it's already asking me to do the subscription. I'm like, well, I already have a subscription, so if I'm able to log in, I won't need to be asked of that anymore. And I know if I get the the uh, Mac computer, which I'm hoping to get for, uh, the Mac, Mac laptop, which I'm hoping to get for Christmas this year um, from my family, I'll still be able to use it on there. Anyways, I really don't have much to say on Filmora 9. I thought I'd have like way more to say, but I think at the time when I started officially using it, I had like way more to say. But don't forget guys, these Chatting Skeletons episodes have been written on my phone since I think 2020, and I'm just now getting around to doing a lot of them, especially because you guys remember like way back, way back when, when I actually like did the Chatting Skeletons marathon because I wanted to get rid of so many of these topics, it was insane. But now I'm just doing it in order of basically what like what the order is on my phone because I have a list of like videos I film for you guys, so now I'm just going in order and I guess whatever comes out of my mouth comes out of my mouth when it comes to these Chatting Skeletons episodes, be it on topic or like right now when it's absolutely not on topic. 
Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this short chatting skeletons episode. I really have not much else to say on Filmora 9. Let me know your favorite editing tools for videos or even photos in the comment section down below so maybe I can check those out as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys. And if you guys have actually used Filmora 9, let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section down below.